Hi everybody, I am Raj Shekhar Viya, a research scholar at VIT University, India. And my co-author is Dr. V.S. Rajkumar, Associate Professor, VIT University, India. The title of our paper is Analysis of Black Hole Attack in RPL-based 6 low pan Network, a case study. Let us see what is a black hole attack. During the dodec formation in a RPL based 6 low pan network, any node which is going to be a malicious node, it's going to be, it's going to falsely claim, claims that it is having an efficient route to the border route. All the other nodes in the network say they are going to trust and immediately they are going to change the, pref the preferred parent. So this malicious node is going to become the preferred parent for most of the active nodes of the network. The malicious node is going to become a black hole attacker. So what exactly a black hole attacker node is going to do means, it receives the packets from the other nodes and silently it is going to drop all the packets. So a black hole node can be a single malicious node, it could be a single node or by a group of malicious nodes, so which we are going to say colliding black hole attack and which is very difficult to detect and to manage. So the first one, it is an example for single black hole attack. The second one, the second uh, diagram, it is an example for colliding black hole attack. Node 8 is going to act as a black hole node. Whatever the packet it receives from node number 9, 10 and 11, so all the packets will be completely dropped by this node. In a colliding black hole attack, uh, two or three, two or more, we can say, two or more nodes, so they are going to combine together and going to create a black hole attack in the topology. So in this case, three and four are the black hole nodes, so they are creating a colliding black hole attack. So here, the packets received from six and seven will be dropped by node number three. The packets received from the nodes eight, nine, ten, eleven, so dropped by the node four. These are the following uh, research research questions that we frame for this work. So the first question is, what effect that does the black hole attack have on RPL based 6 low pan network? The second question is, how does the black hole attack affect the network performance metrics such as packet delivery rate, end to end delay, power consumption and DIO message overhead? The third question, what effect will black hole have when placed within and outside the sync nodes radio range? Then what effect will colliding black hole attacks have on the RPL based 6 low pan networks. To answer, to find the answers for our research questions, so we adapted this methodology. According to this methodology, so we have first we created our scenarios, four different scenarios we, we, we created, objective function selection, we created some automated scripts by using Perl. So this is used to capture the, the activity, that means the events. Then the performance uh, parameters, we run the simulator for a particular period of time, generated the log files. So whatever the log files created, so we, we analyze the log files and compare the results. So we created four different scenarios. So the first scenario, it is a reference topology, so in which there is no malicious nodes. So node 1 is a sync node and all the other nodes are the UDP center nodes. So this particular topology is completely free, it is completely free from the malicious nodes. And this we used as a reference topology. In second scenario, we used only one attacker node. So this is attacker node, A1 is attacker node. So here we had two test cases. So in the first test case, we deployed the attacker node outside the radio range of the sync node. In the second test case, we placed, we deployed the attacker node within the radio range of the sync node. So this is scenario 2. In scenario 3, we increase the number of attackers. So here we have two attackers and scenario 3, we created three test cases. So this is the test case 1. Uh, test case 2 and test case 3. So in this, in the test case A, the attacker nodes are placed outside the radio range of the sync node and in this test case, we deployed both the attackers within the radio range of the sync node. In the third test case, that means the test case C, we placed one attacker node within the radio range of the uh, sync node and one attacker outside the radio range of the sync node. So this is the scenario 3. In the fourth scenario, we created a colliding black hole attack. So there are three nodes available here. A1, A2, A3 and they are creating a colliding black hole attack. So this is simulation parameters, operating system, we used a Conti key, simulation environment, Kuja. So all the modes we use is kind mode, network layer protocol, we use RPL with 6 low pan, startup delay 65 seconds, randomness 2 seconds, interval, sorry, send interval 4 seconds, network layer protocol, RPL, MAC layer protocol, IEEE 802.15, Point four. Radio model we used UDGM, simulation area 100 meters into 100 meters. Objective function, the default objective function we used, MRHOF and simulation time, 3600 seconds. So totally we have 12 sender nodes, one sync node and three attacker nodes. So if you see the packet delivery ratio for the first scenario, that means without any attackers, it is 99.8%. 
and for every scenario scenario 2 scenario 3 and scenario 4 so with all the test cases if you see so gradually the packet delivery ratio is getting reduced so 97.4 95.2 94.3 3. so it's gradually it is decreased so now so we compared s1 and s2 scenario 1 and scenario 2 scenario 1 and scenario 3 scenario 1 and scenario 4 so all the scenarios we compared with with the first scenario that means with the uh, reference topology so if you see the test case a in test case a compared with the scenario 1 it is having 2.4 percent less that means the pdr is lesser than okay 2.4 percent it is reduced so in test case b scenario 2 test case b the pdr is 4.61 percent it is reduced so here you can see test case a and b so in D, the attacker node is placed within the radio range of the sync node. So here you can see the PDR is very much affected. In scenario 3, there are three test cases available, test case A, B, C. So the first test case, the PDR is 5.5% lesser than the scenario 1, that means the reference topology. In the test case B, 5.91%, so it is lesser than that of the S1, that means scenario 1. Test case C, 7.72%, it is lesser. So it shows the PDR of the test case C. It is significantly lesser than the other two test cases because here both that means the attacker node is placed okay the attacker node is placed within the radio range of the sync node so comparing the scenario with the first one that means the s4 compared with the s1 so this is a colliding black hole attack so 9.12 percent the pdr is lesser than that of s1 so average so we took the average of s2 s3 and s4 scenario 1 sorry scenario 2 scenario 3 scenario 4 so the average PDR is 93.93 percentage that means which is 5.8 percent lesser than that of the reference topology of S1. So what we are concluding here, the black hole attack is having a significant negative impact on the PDR. The second parameter we observed end to end delay. So for the first scenario, it is 4092 millisecond. And this is for the second scenarios, S2, third scenario, all the test cases and fourth scenario. So there is a gradual increase available now. So that means end to end delay is increasing. So the time taken to deliver the packet from the sync node to the other nodes, it's keep on increasing. So the delay is getting increased. Now, so we can see our observation here. So we compare S2, scenario 2 with S1. So here in the test case A and test case B. So in test case A, the delay is increased by 356 percentage. In case of test case B, 338 percentage it increased. So here again, so 338 means, so when the attacker node is placed within the radio range of the sync node, so that means the delay is increased. Comparing with scenario 3 with S1, that means the reference topology we compared with the third scenario. So here in the test case A, 372 percentage, the end to end delay is increasing. In the second case, that means uh, test case B, 364 percentage and 434 percentage it is increasing in the case of uh, test case C. So whenever the attacker node is placed inside within the radio range of the sync node, automatically there is a, uh, the impact is very high. Okay, so this is what we observed here. Then the same thing, scenario 4 comparing with scenario 1, so the end to end delay is 433, 4, 434 percentage it increases. So we took the average of S2, S3, S4. So all the uh, scenarios, okay, second scenario, third scenario and fourth scenario. So the average delay is, so this much, so which is 500% greater than that of the reference topology. So what we want to conclude here means, so here, black hole attack is having a significant negative impact on end-to-end -end delay. That means it is increasing the uh, delay. That means the time taken to deliver a packet from the sync node to the other nodes, it increases. The third observation is power consumption. So any IoT device or any uh, IoT environment, so the very important thing we have to consider is the power consumption. So because there are low power uh, devices, so power consumption is a very important thing. So here the scenario one, so without any attacker node for 3600 seconds, the power consumption is 0 0.62 millivolt and gradually it is increasing. Okay, you can see it is increasing gradually. And this is the number of attacker nodes. So in case of scenario 4, so we have 3 attacker nodes. In case of scenario 3, we have 2 attacker nodes. In case of scenario 2, we have 1 attacker node. So this indicates the number of attackers. So in that attackers are gradually increasing 
at the same time the power consumption is also gradually increasing now we can see the comparison now average of s2 scenario 2 average that means all the test cases okay we took an average so here s3 average and this is the s4 so we compare the average okay of s2 with s1 so 45 approximately 46 percent okay the power consumption is higher compared with s1 with the reference topology in case of scenario 3 it is just double the power consumption is okay almost double 97.85 percentage the power consumption is increased in case of scenario 4 that means the colliding black hole attack so the power consumption is almost 180 percent it is increasing compared with this uh, reference topology so what we want to conclude here black hole attack it is having a significant negative impact that means the power consumption is increasing here okay on uh, when you have a black hole attack automatically the power consumption is increasing in all the cases okay this the fourth observation is dio message over it so totally the dio packets so whenever there is an increase in the dio packets so automatically it shows that the network is unstable so there is some instability available in the network so in case of uh, normal okay that means in case of the reference topology scenario one so the dio packets 672 packets were received okay in 3600 seconds but whereas in the case of scenario two so in the case of scenario two it's completely increasing okay from nine percent to eight percent it is increasing test case a test case b in scenario three also okay the number of dio packets is quite increasing and in the case of s4 it shows okay 25 percent it is increased so we can see the comparison now so when we compare when, when we compare uh, the average dio packets in case of scenario 2 it is 7.5 percent higher than that of s1 in case of scenario 3 it is 17 percent increase the 17 percent it is increased that means the number of dio packets is increased 17 percent and in case of s4 that means in the colliding black hole attack it is almost 25 percent the dio packets are increased so whenever the DO packets are increasing, keep on increasing, it shows the network is unstable. So there is some issues in the network. That means uh, the packets are getting dropped or the, the nodes are trying to change their preferred parent. Okay, so there could be so, so many reasons. So black hole attack is also one of the reasons for it. So what we want to conclude here next. So in the black hole attack, that means the black hole attack is increasing the number of DO packets in the uh, topology. So this is our observation. Conclusion, black hole attack has a significant neg negative impact on the performance of a network. So the four parameters, packet delivery ratio, end to end delay, power consumption and DIO over it are significantly affected when the number of black hole attackers are increased and the attacker nodes are deployed in various locations. So the two factors we observed here, whenever there is an increase in the number of black hole attackers, okay, then all the parameters are affected plus based on the deployment that means the location also it, it is having an impact on uh, the network performance now so with a single black hole attacker node and with a colliding black hole attack so we took the average of everything the pdr is 7.72 it is decreased so we we took the average of s2 s3 s4 all the scenarios we are taking the average and we are comparing with the reference topology that means the scenario one so pdr 7.72 percent it is decreasing but whereas in the colliding black hole attack, it is 9.12%, it is decreased. That means the PDM. So there is packet drop is going on more, okay, in the colliding black hole attack. As far as delay is concerned, 372%, the delay is increased. Power consumption, 122%, the power is increased, power consumption has been increased. DIO over it, that means the DIO packets, 19.3%. So this is the average I'm telling, okay. Uh, S3, yes. 2, S3, S4, all the scenarios, if you took an average, if you take an average, okay, this is. So, in the case of colluding black hole attack also, you can see the AO is 25%, it is increased, power consumption 170%, it is increasing, and delay is increased by 550, around roughly 550 percentage, okay, it is increased. So, what we want to conclude here means, in both the cases, that means single black hole attack or the colluding black hole attack, so there is a significant impact on the okay on pdr delay power and overhead comparing with single black hole attack colliding the black hole attack is having a very serious impact and then the deployment place that means the deployment location so where we are deploying the 
attacker node that is also going to play a major role okay which is affecting all these parameters so this is what okay our conclusion